If you're taking a berberine supplement and NAD boosters like NMN or NR, you might well be throwing your money away. In fact, even if you're not taking NMN, there may still be an issue. Here's why and how to fix it. We know that hundreds of thousands of people the world over are taking berberine for blood sugar control and several other metabolic health benefits, which is proven science. And a growing number of those people are also taking NMN or NR to boost NAD plus for anti-aging. Again, proven science. But here's the plot twist that nobody talks about until now. You see, berberine is a Jekyll and Hyde relationship with NAD+, and that's because it does two completely opposite things at the same time. And this creates a supplement conflict that most people have no idea exists. And here's the proof. We'll start with a 2021 study published in the journal Aging, which found that berberine increases NAD plus production by boosting the enzymes that make it, specifically IDO1, QPRT, and MAMPT, which is why a Google search will tell you that berberine increases NAD plus, which sounds great, but unfortunately there's a catch, and it's big. And that's because there's a second effect. And to confirm this, we have a 2022 study published in the peer-reviewed scientific journal Toxicology Letters, which found that berberine increases the NADH to NAD plus ratio. And this is where the problem starts. You see, NAD plus is like the charged battery in your cells. It does the work. While well, NADH is like the depleted battery that needs recharging. Healthy cells maintain a 700 to 1 cellular ratio of NAD plus to NADH in the cytosol and nucleus, which makes up most of the cell's fluid-filled space. However, this ratio can be lower in other parts of the cell. In fact, it's low as 8 to 1 in the mitochondria. However, berberine can mess with these ratios, potentially lowering them significantly. And it does so by blocking something called mitochondrial complex 1. It's literally like pushing the gas pedal and brake pedal at the same time. You're making more NAD+, NAD but preventing your cells from using it most efficiently. This is why there's so much confusion online about berberine and NAD. Technically, berberine does increase NAD plus production, that's the gas pedal, but it also disrupts the NAD plus to NADH ratio, that's the brake pedal. So by ingesting NMN or NR with berberine, it's essentially like paying for premium fuel while driving around with your brakes partially on. You're working against yourself and wasting money. But here comes the good news. You don't have to choose one or the other. There is a way you can enjoy the benefits of both. And the solution is strategic timing. Simply take your NMN or NR in the morning when your body naturally wants higher NAD plus levels and optimal ratios. Take your berberine in the evening with dinner when you need the blood sugar control most. This provides you with all berberine's proven metabolic benefits while minimizing the window where it's disrupting your cellular energy balance. This timing strategy is based on the principle that berberine's ratio disruption is only temporary. Berberine is a short half-life of only three hours, so will likely have completely cleared your system by morning. And while we don't yet have any specific studies testing this exact approach, the logic is sound. Therefore, it makes perfect sense to attempt to minimize the overlap between when you're boosting NAD plus and when berberine is disrupting the ratio. I personally take one gram of NMN and 350 milligrams of NR first thing upon waking. I avoid ingesting berberine until my evening meal 12 hours later, at which time I ingest one gram, which is actually double what I would usually take with meals before I was aware of this latest data and was taking 500 milligrams three times daily with food. Now, I'm absolutely sure that many of you will already have one burning question in your mind, and that is, should we in fact avoid berberine unless we're also using a NAD booster in the manner described? That assumption without study data would be premature and based purely on speculation, but perhaps not so in the case of adults aged 50 and older. And that's because their NAD plus levels are already suffering significant age-related decline. So I would theorize that if you're a mature adult, then taking berberine without the concurrent use of an ad booster may not be optimal if promoting peak health is your goal. Now, I know all this information is very new and you won't have come across it elsewhere, but please recognize that this is my full-time job. All I do and all I have done for the past 20 years is research human longevity topics. This work is purely my passion, 
which thanks to financial success in other areas, I'm free to pursue unhindered. So, if you occasionally encounter information on this channel that you won't find elsewhere, don't be surprised. Many thanks for watching, but before I go, here's an exclusive 10% discount code for you from Do Not Age, which will work for their entire range of ultra pure longevity supplements, including Berberine, NMN, and NR. And you can even apply this code to subscriptions and special offers. Enjoy, and see you again soon.